is over there. The Reeds. Yeah. Oh, and uh, one more quick thing. It's coming soon, my new single, uh, Debonair. I'm trying to show, you know, he, he, boys he, how to be men, you know. Yeah, he, he, men how to be men. He rapping, too. They so, used to call me No Rap you know. in the jail when I was <laughs> <laughs> so. No Rap. Is there, the Reverend no, no Rap, you know, because <laughs> I couldn't do anything. But In his main piece, that's yeah. what it was. <laughs> <laughs> Leslie, talk to us. Yeah, um, I'm at Urban Balance still, uh, private practice um, in Ravenswood <laughs> in downtown Chicago. Um, you can check us out on urbanbalance.com. I see adolescents, couples, individuals. If you're dealing with depression or anxiety, um, give me a call. You can, again, check check me out on um, urbanbalance.com under Leslie Holly, under our downtown office or Ravenswood. And I'm also teaching a class right now at DePaul, so that's hey. exciting. Hey, Amen. So, um, so yeah, that's that's what I've got on deck. And before her husband gives it, I just love her. She's so proper. Yeah, well, yeah. You know, um, and she's so My nice name and is sweet. Leslie you know, Holly. And, and, and you know, <laughs> you know, and, you know, I have to pick some, a nice, sweet counselor to help me with you know the things that I'm going through as well. You I know, thought so, we broke her in. Though. You know, but, you know, <laughs> so she's my counselor, psychiatrist. She was a sociologist. She's been everything on this show. <laughs> Mr. Holly, w- l- talk to me, man. Yeah, I, I have to sleep with her, and I get the, oh. the, uh, <laughs> the uh, psychoanalytic rundown every night. So. Oh. <laughs> I know. Oh. It's like, okay, so let me, sh- oh. let me tell you how you're doing. <laughs> Let's go over the quiz one more time that oh. Edel gave us. We, we, we've got to make sure it's right. <laughs> <laughs> Go here. <laughs> but uh seriously though, I um have been a uh financial services uh uh representative for the last fourteen years and uh in the past year I took a hiatus uh to start my own trucking company. Mm-hmm. And Congratulations. Now, yeah, well now I'm getting back into the financial services. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Uh, so, <laughs> like, yeah, you know, but uh what I'm really passionate about right now is I'm coaching um uh youth baseball. All uh, right. right here in the area with the uh, Hyde, pa- in love. Yeah. Hyde Park Kenwood <laughs> Legends League. Oh, it okay. is, um, you know, right here, if you're familiar with uh, Chicago listeners in, in the Hyde Park neighborhood of Chicago, um, I teach uh, or coach uh, rookie uh, baseball. So that's uh, seven and eight year olds. Okay, that's great. So we are looking to start our season in the next week. So we've uh, put a number of practices together and worked pretty hard and looking to see our output on the field. Yeah, you know, I love that. And I also want to say to uh, go Blackhawks, who are winning like now, one to nothing. I love my hockey. Uh, so you brought up sports. I had to throw it in there. I, I lo- love, love hockey. Go Blackhawks. Go Blackhawks. Uh, so uh, what else we got? Is everybody? I ain't doing nothing. I'm just telling you, I'm I'm not doing nothing but loving my wife. That's you know, and that's what God called me to do. Uh, baby, you doing anything? I know you're doing a couple of things, aren't you? Getting your stuff together for copywriting and right. I'm writing. About to become a copywriter. Writing books and, and yeah, I want to go back to finishing my second novel, but um, you hopefully, know, sometime hopefully down the, the line she'll months. actually feed her husband again. But go ahead. <laughs> they don't need to know you star. Okay. <laughs> We doing a sh- we gonna do a show called Starving Hubs in it the wild. Hey, I bet you get a lot of people on this show. And I sure will, because they'd be saying you lie, Ruby. Can you see your stomach? <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, darling, um, you know what? I don't have a lot on the plate outside, but inside, Brenda's getting herself together, and I do want to thank verbally on the show all of our beautiful, talented, they got so darn talented guests. And Tracy, I love her to death. This is a renaissance woman. She always looks shocked when I say that, but I do. I love her to death because she's always here for us, always doing things for us and guiding yeah, I, us. I got so. a new title of you. I'm going to call you our AG girl. That's our everything girl. Just <laughs> AG. AG. Did I say it wrong? Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, AG, isn't it? It's AG then. <laughs> Every AG. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Look, well, I'm, I am, you know what? Public school. I was a product of CPS. Oh, no, you I'm joking. Product of Young. You said like, oh, also. Okay. Julian, you didn't <laughs> yeah, teach me Julian any education. So what is that now? It's EG. That's right. I'm sorry. Everything. Anyway, let me finish, Bay, because you sort of messed up. Yeah, I, I did mess it up. Yeah. Tracy, Tracy, we got to give you another title because I messed uh, it up. Renaissance Woman. That's the title that I gave her, and we should stick that's with That's old. Anyway, um, because, well, she's not old, but she's talented. And I also want to do is um, say to everyone, get ready, because our show that we done, Young, Gifted, and Black, 
Rise Up and Walk will be airing in June. And Leslie was actually on that panel. You look good on TV, bag. She, her husband, so proud of her. She was excellent, along with my husband, myself, and Tracy just ran the background really well. So when we get the air dates for that, that would be such a phenomenal show to see. The commercials did just, well, commercial ran the date as well. That promo that you see in the video was on t- actually on TV, So, um, which we can't even see because we can't get the channel. But anyway, yeah. <laughs> everybody's doing everything great, and I love it. Yeah, you know, the thing about I love about God is that he's, you know, constantly moving forward. And God will do that in your relationship as long as you put him first. Uh, on this show, we have a lot of fun, but we always uh, give honor and glory to God. And even in this relationship situation, we want you to know that God is always first in your marriage. If you want to spice it up, always make sure God is first because God is the person that condones sex in a relationship. It is for marriage. I keep saying that it's for marriage. So enjoy having a wonderful, fulfilled, happy marriage and enjoy being with each other. Love yeah. each other again. And what Nicole said was profound with married couples. I didn't ask you that. <laughs> the only person who's profound around here is me. You Nicole, are profound. You can't be profound on my show. <laughs> Go ahead. She was very profound in saying that when she want to do something in her marriage, she go to God first. Yes. And I do appreciate that. And that's why that. we... That's why I love having people that are Christians on there. I ain't got to be the only one person saying something. And uh, uh, excuse me, I am saying. So, like I said, I'm not. I'm just glad I'm not the only Christian on the show. Thank you, Nicole, for coming on here. You know, we we you re- gotta go home we remember with me. we remember the cookie statement that you made there, but that's okay. Well, we're married, but, so you have to have some cookies. But no, you know, I'm, I'm talking. You know, you know, you my my. We gonna cookie because I have some real cookies tonight. Yeah, we gonna have some ch- some chocolate chip cookies. Right, right, right. and some ice cream. Look, yeah, that's how we that's, think. That's, that's how we spice our marriage. <laughs> yeah. That's how we get. But big. We, we go, <laughs> before we go off the air, I want to just go around again and just talk a little bit about you know making sure that we spice up a relationship. Uh, I'm going to go this way first and end with Eden. Uh, I just want to ask Mr. Holly over there, just you know, talk a little bit again about helping someone spice up their relationship and give me about a minute or two. Sure. Uh, again, I think if you really want to spice up your marriage, uh, you, uh, you may be feeling uh, that things have become routine, uh, feel that the, the fire has kind of burned down and that you're not having uh, sexual relations as much, you're not being intimate as much, and you're not spending time with that person as much. I think what we really need to do is come back to uh, that dating stage or when we first got to know each other. Uh, take time to go out on a date. Uh, really spend that one-on-one time with your spouse to reconnect. Make sure you talk, not just about the you know rigors of the day, but reminisce on a memory that you had before, reminisce on a time where something was spicy that you liked in the past. Mm. Um, really talk that through because a lot of times, you know, the way to a woman's heart and a way to the bedroom, which oftentimes, you know, us men are looking to do, uh, is to... Uh, remind them and really spark that that main sexual organ, which is their brain. Uh, so really try to spice it up by talking through um, some some older experiences or some things that you really liked in the past. Remind them of how beautiful they are every day, and uh, continue to give them compliments, touch them, uh, you know, and just really try to bring back the passion in that way. Uh, I generally find that if you try to do those few elements. The rest can kind of snowball, and uh, it'll be a good path back to uh, bringing some spice back to your your relationship and your marriage. Miss Holly, you know I like Ayanla always says you have to do your work, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and I think it's important to always remember that you know marriage that should be if you're married you know that's where your number one work needs to be in your marriage as you pour more into that you get so much out of it and so making sure that that is a priority um you know checking in with each other if you can do it on a daily basis or if it, if you're really busy you know once a week having these sit downs where you can really talk about the week or maybe what what what, what you accomplished what you overcame what you enjoyed um, to really get to know each other, you know, as life happens and careers change and work changes and children change and life changes, we change. And so always kind of tapping into your partner and letting them know kind of what you are going through, what your fears are, what things you're happy about, what your dreams are. 
um, is really important so that you continue that communication so you can build on that intimacy. Amen. Uh, we got to go to the last uh, step of the McCain show. I'm going to let a couple of people say a couple of things. So Damon, Nicole, um, can you do something real quick for us on um, uh, intimacy? I mean, uh, what was that saying about spicing your relationship? <laughs> Um, that was would, that was real quick. <laughs> <laughs> I would say, I think kind of that, you know, putting, or I would say the being unselfish in the sense, you know, when you're married, you're supposed to put your partner first. I think that's real important because a lot of times you can think about, okay, I got to do this, you know, hey, I got to do that, whether it's work, whether it's, you know, cleaning the house. Hey, I got. I have to watch the children. You know, but you have to take off. You know that me, me, me attitude, and look at your partner and and put them above yourself. Okay. So you know, Nicole. Um, I was gonna say the same thing. It's kind of like um, in marriage, you have to be selfless. But I think it's one of those things where it's like marriage is not about uh, keeping score. And I think if you're thinking about as far as like my needs getting uh, my needs not being met. When you keep thinking along those lines, your needs will never be met. Because I think that once you sow into somebody else, that's the greatest gift that you can give. And because you do that, God will bless it and where your spouse will be able to meet the needs that you do have. But I think if you have the mindset of this is my spouse, this is um, this is someone who I desire to almost like go after. And I think a lot of times married couples stop doing that. They stop that process as, in, uh, as far as, like, seeking after that person. You know what I mean? Calling that person and sending those text messages. Call them on the phone and just saying, hey, what you wearing? That kind of things. Those things tend to stop if they aren't, if, if they aren't maintained. So I will say the main thing is once you get the fire going, maintain it because it can go out. It's not something that can just stay, stay just, I guess, um, it has to be maintained the whole time. Okay. 30 seconds, Mrs. Eaton. I know that's hard, but 30 seconds. You just lost 20, 28 of them right there. <laughs> Go ahead. Schedule your time together. You've got everything else in your planner. Put each other in your planners. Prioritize each other. However you choose to do it, however long you choose to do it, do it. Do it consistently. Do it at least every week. You should be getting together to talk about everything but children, jobs, stress. But you got to be a boyfriend and girlfriend again at least once a week. And remember, <laughs> sex is not the one dirty thing that God lets you do. <laughs> <laughs> sex was God's idea. Amen. Contrary to most of our own elevated opinions of ourselves, sex was God's idea. Mm. Stop trying to rewrite it to do something it was never designed to do. Just take full advantage of what it is designed to do. All right, baby, talk to me a bit real quick about what we're going to be talking about tomorrow. I mean, uh, tomorrow, uh, uh, next, next Tuesday. Week, next week, we're going to be talking about break every chain, a love that can't be bound, dating someone while they're incarcerated. Oh. So that's going to be a very good topic. Yeah, yeah that's going to be a good wow. topic. Uh, so... Hey, I want to thank all our guests on the show today. Uh, once again, you can spice up your relationship by, number one, making God first. Also, I just want to say, um, you know, uh, we did have a lot of fun talking about some things here, but marriage is supposed to be fun. Sex and marriage is supposed to be fun. You're supposed to enjoy it. Lighten up, revisit, reignite the spark in your life by just knowing that it's, you're so fortunate to have someone to love you. If you even think about it, you don't even love you sometimes. But if you can have someone, we have married couples in for, you know, for what is 11 years, ten. Uh, 10, you all were how many? Nine. Nine years, 21 years. Enjoy being with your spouse again. You can spice up your relationship if you want to. You've got to make the choice. The choice is on you. This is Reverend Rick McCain from the Let's Stay Together show along with my baby, my girl, my boo. We're going to spice it up tonight because we married, y'all. Uh, we'll be seeing you next Tuesday, 8, 7 p.m. 7 p.m. I'm messing up everything today. Tell you soon. Woo-hoo!